Last May, I had the idea and discussed with my colleagues of uh, teaching the drawing class on the iPad. I uh, had read about an artist by the name of David Hockney who, in the early aughts, <laughs> had begun to draw on his iPhone. And uh, David Hockney is a, a world-famous uh, artist. Uh, we call them blue chip, and uh, very famous, and uh, he was in his 70s when he started to do this. When the iPad came out, I think in 06, then he switched over to the iPad drawing, and he was making uh, large-scale work. He was exhibiting the iPads with the images on them, and iPhones uh, with the images on them. And he started out sending daily email drawings uh, to his friends, so, and this has uh, currently manifested itself into some really cutting edge work uh, that he's doing. So, if an elderly British gentleman can do this, then that kind of gives us permission to do this. Um, my academic colleagues were very excited to hear about this, uh, here especially, but uh, at my conferences around the state, uh, nobody else was doing this. So I thought it was pretty exciting, an idea. My dean supported it, my chair supported it, and uh, we uh, found funding for the iPads. They came from uh, outside funding, and uh, the dean suggested we make it a surprise. So the students walked into the first day of class, and uh, that was the first time they found out that it was going to be an iPad class. Uh, they all stayed, so uh, that's good news. I definitely went into the class thinking that it was going to be a normal drawing class with pencil, paper, and all that good stuff. But um, because this was honestly a surprise because of it being research oriented, um, I've always drawn with pencil, and paper, and done painting and drawing. So um, it's definitely been an adjustment. But um, it's been interesting too to be able to take this wherever I need to versus having to sit at a table with you know one area set up for what I'm doing. Um, but it's definitely had its challenges too. <laughs> it's all very abstract, so it is very different. Um, but the way that Professor Ash explains it to us is that when you're drawing, it is abstract. It's uh, you're just drawing the outlines, the curves, the light reflected off of it, and that's the abstract part of any drawing ever done, even if it's realistic or just plain abstract. I think it's an added tool. Um, it does not take the place of uh, what has come before it in art history. It is just another uh, implement to draw with. with their, students are drawing with their fingers, with a variety of stylus. It's really not one size fits all. It's a very, very uh, individual uh, taste and how it works. So. I see this uh, continuing as an option uh, offered alongside of conventional uh, studio drawing classes. I also see possibilities in our 2D design program to offer this as an option too. I would, uh, I would jump, run <laughs> to that course development if I wasn't uh, neck deep in uh, this development right now. So uh, I do see that. Uh, I even see it uh, potentially down the road as uh, uh, a way to augment or vary what we do in painting class. Uh, of course, nothing's going to ever take the place of brush on a surface, and that would always be a traditional offering, but I can see uh, iPad drawing and painting being part of the curriculum eventually. and. The goal with this class is to transition to a hybrid offering flipped class and then on to an online offering. So uh, it should be good for our enrollment and uh, hopefully we'll draw some folks to the department that would not otherwise uh, take a class here.